Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing some Star Wars and Galactic Heroes. Some Star Wars action figures. And a Galactic Heroes action figure, and a Dark Elf, and a Sci-Fi Elf. But first, we're going to look at this Dark Elf figure I got from the Monroeville Exchange. And I just love this Dark Elf so much, I had to pick her up. She reminds me of something from World of Warcraft. I've never played the game, but she does give me that kind of vibe. But yeah, she's pretty cool looking. She's got a knife. Go stabby stabby with that thing in someone's gullet. <laughs> but now we're going to do some comparisons. Here is my World of Warcraft orc. Why not? I say why not. And of course something from Lord of the Rings. Here is the Diamonds Selects Sauron next to her. Not bad comparison. If I do say so myself. And we do got the sci-fi elf. She's some sort of alien elf sci-fi character with a gun. So you go pew pew, bang bang. But they are similar. They are both elves. One's futuristic and one's not. So that's always safe for that figure. And she is going in the collection. But now let's look at this figure close up. Arms are pretty well articulated. Bulge hinge joints. She can actually move her arms and be like, take this, alien scum. Monster scum, eat lead. With that big gun. But she can also, you can get it in her hands, she can dual wield. Like this, she can dual wield. Go. I couldn't help the noise effects for the gun. But yeah, this is a pretty good figure. It's more meant for display, but I do like her as an action figure. And she's that good looking. Look at that gun. Look at that design and sculpt on this figure is very awesome. So glad I have this for my collection. But now we're going to get on to the Star Wars stuff. These used to be Star Wars soap bottles, but they're empty. And we got Boba Fett and Darth Vader, two of my favorite Star Wars characters. Boba Fett on the job. I sense a disturbance in the Force. And yeah, I couldn't help that iconic from Star Wars where they say that. Next, we got this figure of Luke Skywalker. It's articulated. You know what I call these? Huge hand. Huge hand, Luke. You're like, I'm going to bash you with these big hands of mine. Pew, pew, pew. Bang, bang, bang. With my fists. Hit. Punch, punch, punch. Sucker punch. And yeah, this figure is that good. And I'm so glad to have this for my collection. Another random Luke Skywalker figure I didn't have. And what year, year was it made? 2004. Man, this figure's old. Almost pretty old today. But last but not least, we have a Galactic Heroes Clone Trooper. No articulation, but it is a Phase 1 Commander Galactic Heroes Clone Trooper. And now we're going to compare them with all my other Galactic Heroes. The... Mace Windu Trooper from his squadron. Episode 1, Obi-Wan. Count Dooku. Imperial ATST driver. Love that. Endor Speeder Bike Trooper. This is my original Galactic Heroes, and he might have gotten some stuff on him that I can't wash off. Otherwise, he's completely there with some 
wear on him. Ponda Baba from Star Wars. I know him. Luke Skywalker. Darth Vader. Why not? Imperial Engineer. And last but not least, the Imperial Interrogation Droid. And this is my, so far, entire Galactic Heroes collection. Before we end this video, we're going to do a group shot of how many of these I own this year. There's one, two, three, four, five, I mean four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these I own this year. And I have quite the collection of these this year. And I am so glad to collect more of these classic Star Wars toys. And I will continue to try to find these and pick them up. Because I have Galactic Heroes, I have the G.I. Joe Galactic Heroes toys, along with the Robot Heroes toys. Three of them, anyway. But I love these, being a Star Wars fan. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.